Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Simplified. Today I want to talk about battery drain, also known as phantom drain. So first of all, what's phantom drain? Um, it's when a car's battery will slowly drain away, even though the car hasn't been driven. So unlike gas cars, that you can just let it sit there and the gas will just stay there, the, the electric car continues to use the battery to to keep the computers running and the battery safe. The car's computers need to stay on at a low state. It has to keep the car's battery safe and at an adequate temperature at all times. So this drains the battery slowly and makes you lose range. So how much does it use? So for me, it has lost about nine to 10% over a 24 hour period. That's in a temperature of around 40 or 60 Fahrenheit with sentry mode on in a garage. So that's about 3% overnight. If you leave your car outside and in lower temperatures, the car will lose more than 10% in 24 hours. In the summer, if you leave it in the sun, the computer will likely have to cool down the cabin or to cool down the battery. If you leave it in the cold, the computer will likely have to warm up the battery and you will lose more than the nine or ten percent in a twenty-four hour period. Also, if you leave it parked outside in a high traffic area, and if you leave overheat protection on, especially when you use AC instead of just fan, instead of just the fan. Also, you should not. You should try not to wake up the car by opening up the app and checking on the car from your cell phone. Always keep it plugged in if you can. Elon Musk said that the car is happiest when plugged in. You don't have to keep it unplugged to let it drain down and, and then plug it back in like some people do every few days. You should just keep it, keep it plugged in every night and have it topped off every night if possible. If left unplugged until it runs out of battery completely, possibly in the case when the owner is away on vacation and the car runs out of battery, this will possibly damage the car. In this case, make sure to ask someone to plug the car in for you. You can open the car door and start the car from the app. So a friend can just get in, move the car if necessary, and plug it in for you. So this is one of those things that you don't have to deal with if you have an internal combustion engine. So it's a small price to pay for having a vehicle that's much, much better than an internal combustion engine. And uh, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.